Conviction that leads to eviction. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Conviction that leads to eviction. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start off in the book of John 16, verse 33. Very familiar scripture. And it reads like this. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In the world you shall have what? Tribulation. Say it loud. Tribulation. 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 But be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world. So he said, the world we shall have, but be of good cheer, because he's what? So, the, so in this world, we shall have tribulation. He said, these things I've spoken to you, because in this world, we shall have tribulation. Now, there's um, three areas of tribula uh, uh, where, where tribulation comes from in this world. Tribulation comes from one, demons and devils. Uh -huh. Why is that? Because they ain't here. They in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tribulation comes from uh, demons and devils. Mm -hmm. Tribulation comes from you. Mm -hmm. Tribulation comes from you. Tribulation comes from demons and devils. Tribulation comes from the world. Why is that? Because the world is, is the world. That's why. And this world, not this world, not this world, but it comes from the world system. Tribulation comes from demons and devils. Why is that? Because they're in the world. Tribulation comes from this world system. Why is that? Because it's in the world. And Satan is the god of this world system. And tribulation comes from who? It comes from you. It comes from us. Tribulation also comes from us. Now, Jesus said, uh, the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy, and he's come to give us life and give it to us how? More abundantly, right? But tribulation comes from demons and devils. Why? To stop up your abundant life. Yeah. Tribulation comes from this world. Why? It's the world system. Why? It stops up the abundant life. Amen. And tribulation also comes from us, which stops up the abundant life. Yes, yes. 
Somebody said, well, I don't know about that, Pastor. <laughs> well, maybe you don't know about it, but we're going to dig into the Word and see what the Word got to say about it. Uh -huh. All, right. Uh -huh. All right. All right, so let's go first to the Old Testament. Come on, give me uh, the book of I think we're going to Psalms. Let me see here. Go to Psalms. Right here, Psalms 51. All right? Read this with me. Come on, ready to read. Created me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew the right spirit within me. So what happened? So this, you know, this is David talking. He said, create me a clean heart. Sometimes our heart needs to be cleaned up. Amen. And he said, sometimes, and, 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 and renew the right spirit within me. Sometimes our spirit needs to be made right. Our heart needs to be cleaned up, and our spirit needs to be made, be made right. But somebody said, well, that's Old Testament. That's before the blood of Jesus. You're right. That is before the blood of Jesus. Jesus came in and moved in and connected with our heart. Yes, yes. So let's take that to the New Testament. Thank you. Give me first John. Thank you. Behold, what manner of love that the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Oh, the what sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Yes. All right, now. Beloved, now we are the sons of God. Who are the sons of God? We, who's the sons of God? We are. Who's the sons of God? We are. He's not talking about those that are not saved. He's talking about those that are saved. The Bible says those that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Those that are led by the Spirit of God, they're the ones that receive Jesus. The ones that got the blood of Jesus. The ones that have been washed thoroughly with the blood of the Lamb. He said, what? Behold, we are now the sons of God, and it does not appear yet what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for he, we shall see him as he is. Now, I want you to read this with me right here. Starting from, let's read the second verse. Ready? Read. Beloved, now we know we are the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. What we what? Shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Okay, so when he shall appear, we shall be like him. When are we going to be like him? When are we going to be like him? Say it now. When are we going to be like him? That, that means we ain't like him just yet. That means we are not like him yet. We still got some work to do. There's some cleaning up that needs to be taken care of. There's some things that need to be set straight. We've been covered with the blood, but we're still not like him yet. There is still work. That needs to be taken care of. Are you with me this morning? Yes. All right. Now, let's go take a look at Paul. You know, Paul wrote uh, uh, the majority of the, the New Testament. Come on, give me uh, Romans. All right, now watch this. Let's read this here. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For which I would do, I allow not. For what I would... Uh, for what I would, that I do not. So he's saying, what I want to do, I, I, I don't do it. But what I want to do, I, I, but what I don't want to do, that's what I do. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I hate that what I, what do I? I hate that. He's not happy about what he's doing. Right. Who's this Paul? Who is he? He wrote uh, most of the New Testament. Right. Uh -huh. All right? Uh -huh. Then if I do that which I would not, I consent unto the Lord that it is good. So that he knows what he's not doing is what he should be doing because he knows what he's not doing. That's good. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right? Come on. For then it is no more I that do it, mm -hmm. but, sell, but sin that dwells where? In me. In me. Where does sin dwell? In me. Where does sin dwell? In me. And this is after the blood of Jesus. This is not Old Testament. Uh -huh. This is New Testament. Yeah, there are yeah. sins still dwelling with him. Oh, and let me tell you Jesus. something, people of God. Sometimes there's still sin dwelling with us in the New Testament. Yeah. Covered yeah. with the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's right. All right. That's right. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth mm -hmm. what? No mm -hmm. good thing. For to will is present with me. He wants to do what's right. He's got the will to do what's right. We've got the will to do what's right. Uh -huh. so, so, so the good dwells with me. Uh, 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 but I how to perform that which is good, I find not. Sometimes you don't want to cuss sister so and so out when she get on your nerve, but you just can't Jesus. stop yourself. Sometimes you don't want to smack so and so upside the head, but you just can't hold yourself back. Sometimes you don't want to be jealous, but you know, jealousy still rises up on the inside of you. Sometimes there's things you don't want to do, but you still find yourself doing it. Yeah, yeah. 
with your born That's again right. self. That's right. That's right. Turn and say he's not talking about you. Uh huh. Uh huh. But you know what he's talking about. Amen. <laughs> Jesus. Uh -uh. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that do I. Uh -huh. Now, if I do which I would not, it is no more I that do with it, but sin that dwell in me. Uh -huh. For I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're not by ourselves. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's why you got to watch out. Mm -hmm. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? I thank God that through Jesus Christ our Lord, so then with the mind I serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. People of God, even though we're born again, sometimes some mess rises up in our lives. I heard a testimony this morning from somebody that said, you know, they went through a test. Praise God, they passed the test, but we don't always pass that test. Sometimes, you know, we are, you know, uh, cuss every once in a while. Uh, 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 uh. Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know, I, I had to, I had to, um, uh, you know, you're you going to get me out of my religion. You're going to take me out of my religion. No, 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 no. Nobody should be able to take you out Hallelujah. of religion. Hallelujah. Because it's not supposed to be a religion. It's supposed to be a relationship. It's supposed yes. to be a new yes. creature in Christ, Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So now, so we got this, we got this thing going on here. We got this, uh, sometimes, you know, we get in the flesh. Sometimes, you know, uh, and I don't know, I'm not, and I'm not going to ask who I'm talking about because I know ain't nobody exempt in here, glory to God. And if you think you're exempt, we'll, we'll have to minister some a little bit more to you. <laughs> All right, now. So now, we got this going on. Every once in a while, we think things we shouldn't be thinking, right. say things we shouldn't be saying, right. do things we shouldn't be doing, right. act in a way we shouldn't be acting. Jesus. Now, let's go see if we can figure out what's going on. Go to Hosea. Verse 6, okay, my people, read this with me, ready, come on, read. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Let me stop right there, that's all I need. My people are destroyed for what? Lack of knowledge. Say it again, for what? Lack of knowledge. Now, that word destroyed means cut off. Somebody say cut off. Cut off. For lack of what? Knowledge. What you don't know. Now, let me say this first. We said that there's three things that bring tribulation in life. Demons and devils. Mm -hmm. The world system mm -hmm. and us. Right. Say that with me. Demons and devils. Demons and devils. World, system world system and us. Yeah. Demons and devils will stop up what? The, but Jesus, said, I came, Jesus said I came to give you life and came to give it to you how? More abundantly. Yeah. And the demons and devils are trying to, they can't stop you from going to heaven, but they're trying to stop you from getting the abundant life. Yeah. This world system that lined up with the will of God, it can't stop you from going to heaven, but it's trying to stop you from getting what? The abundant life. Yes, yes. And that mess that's in you can't yeah. stop you from going to heaven, but it's trying to stop you from receiving the abundant life. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. it says, I'm destroyed. That word destroyed means cut off. Uh -huh. It comes from a word called luo. That means you've been cut off. You cut off what? From what I don't know. What am I cut off for? I'm cut off from the abundant life. And I don't even realize when I cuss this to so-and-so out. I don't even realize when I smack so-and-so upside the head. Uh -huh. I don't realize when I let selfishness and jealousy and all that mess come up in me. I don't realize because I'm afraid the time is stopping me from the abundant life. Right. I don't Whoa, realize that. Jesus. And I'm cut off the blessing of God. Yeah. Not because of what the devil did. Not because of what the world did. But because of what I did. Oh, wretched man that I am. Hallelujah. Now, let me also, let me, I don't plan on saying, but let me say this also. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Let's uh -huh. just say from lack of what you know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And to know God is not just to know God, but to know God is to experience Him. Oh, glory. 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 Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Oh, that was God that saved me in that accident. Oh, glory to God. You got to know him. Yes. And sometimes you're cut off from what you don't, oh, from what you should get. You've been destroyed for because you don't know him. Uh -huh. It's not enough just to know about him, but we have to what? Yes. Know him. Yes. All right. So that cuts us off. Yes, It'll yes. It'll cut you off. It'll cut you off. Okay. Hallelujah. Now, let's figure out how this all happened. We know where the demon and the devils came from. Uh -huh. We know about the world system because God is, I mean, Satan is the God of this world system. But how did all this mess get in me that is trying to stop me from receiving what Jesus came to give me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go to Genesis. 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 To the beginning. Genesis 8, verse 22. Let's read it together. Ready to read. While the earth remained, seed time and harvest, Cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. Stop. Cease or stop. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, so we know that we still see uh, day and night, right? Amen. We know we still see summer and winter, right? Amen. And we know we still see cold and heat. Yes. So seed, time, and harvest. Somebody said it with me. Seed, time, time and, and, harvest. Harvest. and harvest. Now, what? So now what happens is, them demons and devils, uh -huh. they planted some seed in us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They planted some seed in us. Well, where it could have happened way back when we were babies. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Planted some seed in us. Oh, glory. Because the demons and devils know just like cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, shall not cease. They know seed time and harvest oh, won't cease. And then if they can sow a seed in you, uh -huh. and you don't know that yes. seed was sown in you, yes. it's only a matter of time before they can have a oh, harvest uh -huh. of the seed they sow. Oh, good. Yes, yeah, you might be a little, uh, or have a little anger problem at some time, yes. from time to time, but it might not really just be your fault. It might be a seed that was sown in you even since you were a child. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. That's not myself, that's going down the bloodline. No, that's the same demon planting the seed in your granddaddy. And your uh, great granddaddy uh, and uh, his daddy uh, seeds, seeds. The devil comes to sow seeds in us, Jesus, so that Jesus. he can have a harvest in us, so he can stop the uh, the abundant life that is uh, in us uh, or should be for us. Jesus, teach pastor. Try to stop the abundant life. Glory, glory. Try to stop the abundant life. Teach pastor. There's been a seed sown in us. Yes. Now watch this. Now let's go. Okay. Now what are we gonna do here? I'm going to, we're going to be in Romans. Okay. All right, but I'm going I'm to tell you, we're going to go to one after this, and then we're going to go back, and then we're going to go forward. You got it? All right, then I'll let you know when. All right, now watch this. Wherefore he said, when you ascend it up on high, he, no, oh, no, no, go back. No. Oh, let me see where we are. Romans. 22, oh, yes, right here, right here. Okay, but now, now okay, here we are. No, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind, bringing me into captivity. Say that with me. Bringing Bring me, me into, into captivity. captivity. One more time. Bringing Bring me, me into, into captivity, captivity to the law of sin and death which is in my members. Bringing me into captivity. <laughs> I tried not to cuss her out, but I was captive by the spirit of cuss. Nice. I tried uh -huh. not to knock him out, but I was captivated by yeah. the spirit of knockout. Uh -huh. I tried not to, but I was in captivity. Oh my God. Go forward. Mm. Go forward. Wherefore, verse 8, he's for verse 8. Wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he who? He Jesus. When he ascended up on high, he led what? Captivity captive uh -huh. and gave gifts to men. So that spirit of cuss, Jesus already led it captive. That spirit of knockout, Jesus already led it captive. Yeah. That spirit of jealousy, he led that captive, glory right. to God. But see, if we don't know that, we can't take advantage of that. Jesus. We think we're stuck, but we're not stuck, glory to God. There's a way out. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Oh, now, hallelujah. Back hallelujah. Back to woman. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay. So we know. Hallelujah. So we think he think is caught in captivity to the law of sin and to the law of sin, which is in our members. Verse twenty four, Romans seven twenty four. Oh wretched man that I am! Oh wretched man that I am! Read this last part. We ready? Come on. Yeah. Who yeah. shall deliver yeah. me from this yeah. body of death? Say it again. Who yeah. shall deliver yeah. me from this yeah. body of death? Yeah. Paul knew that they took a who. 
Paul knew that it was not a gimmick. Paul knew that it was not a, 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 he knew that it was going to take a who to deliver him from the jealousy. Who to deliver us from the cross. Uh -huh. Who to deliver us uh -huh. from drugs, uh -huh. from alcohol, uh -huh. from Ooh, hatred, Jesus. from, uh, uh, from uh, you know, pornography. It's going to take a who, yeah. glory to God. It's going to take a who to deliver you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to take a who, Jesus. hallelujah. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. All glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, now Jesus. Now go back to Ephesians, where we just came from. Yes, yes. Okay. So wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive, Jesus did. He led your captivity captive. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It wants to make you think you're captive, but there's a way out, hallelujah. Uh -huh. And he gave gifts to men. He gave some apostles. He gave some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and some teachers. So he sent me right here as a pastor to teach. Amen. So we can find the way out. Amen. Glory to God. And uh, for what? The perfecting of the saints. Say, I am a saint. I am a saint. And the words perfected me. And the words perfected me. Yeah, speak that over yourself. Amen. For the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Say, I've got a ministry. I got to edify his body. Yeah, edify his body. You have a ministry. You're supposed to edify your family members. Hallelujah. You're supposed to edify your work uh, 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 associates, your co-workers. Yeah. You're supposed to edify everyone you come in contact with. He what? The word is going forth to perfect you, to edify your family, your friends, your work with your co-workers. But it also has to edify you, glory to God. The word is here to edify you. Your ministry is to get that mess out of your life. Get that jealousy out of your life. Get all that mess out of your life, glory to God. That is your ministry. You can't do the other ministry right till you get your ministry right. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now, say, I have a ministry. I have a ministry. I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right. <laughs> Thank right, you, Lord. Go. Thank I'm you. I'm almost finished. First John. Thank you, Lord. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Read this next part. Come on, ready to read. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. There is a, a spirit of God on the inside of you. There is a third part of the trinity on the inside of you. He moved in you with, with you with power. He moved in you with anointing. He moved in you with knowing on all things. Glory to God. And he came in to deliver you. It says, who shall deliver me from this body of death? You shall deliver you from the body of death when you start listening to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Lord God. Yes, stop yes. listening to the ministry of your past. Stop listening to the ministry of that seed that's been sown on you. Because you can uproot that seed. Because you got a new seed of the living God on the inside of you. Giving you wisdom and ability and power and revelation to get that mess up out of you. First you got to say, I got to get this off me. I'm always getting angry. I got too much cussing me. I got too much, you know, uh, race, spirit of rage in me. I'm looking at pornography. I'm doing this and I'm doing that. But I got a holy one, a great one, because that pornography is from the world. That cuss. It's from the world. But he's overcome the world, glory to God. The greater one's in there. When you start listening to the ministry of the greater one, you'll get that junk up out of your life. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. I never forget. Uh, Jesus. Back in my day, I used to smoke. Oh, 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 oh. I see what kind of kids are in here. I want to get it out. I smoked. I smoked with everything you could smoke. I smoked it. I drank it. I did it. I done it. I used to drink. I used to smoke cocaine. Smoke cocaine. Uh, 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 crack. All that mess. I was messed up. The devil said, "Plant that stuff in me when I was a child." He said, "I'm gonna give you a spirit uh, 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 that's gonna be susceptible." What's the word I'm looking for? An addictive spirit. I'm going to yeah. give you an addictive spirit. And I'm going to give you a prideful spirit. And he sold that mess in me. And I smoke every time I could smoke. And I drank everything I could drink. And I slept with everything I could sleep with. And I cussed everything I could cuss. I did all that. And it wasn't. said, who shall deliver me? It didn't take no 
in not, uh, uh, not narcotics and honors. It didn't take no NA. Right, it didn't take no AA. It didn't take no therapist. Hallelujah. It didn't take no psychologist. It took a who? Move on the inside of me, for God. To deliver me from that mess. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. No, I don't want to go back. Yes, yes. Don't you go back. Don't you go back. Glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There is a greater one that moved on the inside of you. Yes. And when he moved in you, he moved in you with power. But you know something? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You might not know whether he's really in there or not. That's because you don't spend no time with him. But you spend time with him. Oh, when you wake up in the middle of the morning, I can't go. You wake up in the middle of the morning, you can't go back to sleep. Why is that? Because he wants to spend time with you. Ooh, Jesus. He wants you to know him. He wants you to say, why do I keep waking up at 3 o'clock? I mean, it's the same time when I look at the clock. It's the same time I'm waking up. Oh, and then when you go to bed later, he might get you up a little bit Jesus, early, uh, a little Jesus. bit later. Or he might get, because he knows how to critique things, because he wants to get the best out of you. And when you realize that it's him doing this, and you get a one-on-one -on -one personal relationship, and when he tells you, just, just go hug them and, 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 and love on them, when you really want to smack them. Yeah, and, and, and like yeah. I said, you want to smack that weed out the head, when you really want to do that. But you do what the Holy Ghost tells you what happened. Now you open yourself up for the abundant life. Amen, amen. Oh, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory to God. Glory to God. Okay, now. Okay, I'm going uh, to uh, get some people to come up here with me. I'm going to get David. Can you come up? Can you go up this way? Come on up. And I got my two deacons over here. Y'all come on up. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus. It's going to be our last scripture. Uh -huh. Don't get anything out of this. Yeah. Oh, amen, amen, amen. So we said the demons and devils uh -huh. are trying to stop you from the abundant life. Yes. The world system trying to stop you from, from the abundant life, uh -huh. and that mess that's been sown in you uh -huh. is going to try to stop you from the abundant life. And yes. You're doing yes. a good job, but we're going to put that thing in its place. Amen. 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 Go to Psalms. This is my last, my last scripture. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Now, before I go any further, let me go and say this. Um, so this is your spirit, your soul. Come this way. I don't know if I'm come down this road. Okay. Your spirit, your soul, and your body. Amen? Uh -huh. Amen. Okay. All right. So spirit. So, well, that's your mind. Will you think and reason and rationalize? It? Amen. You think and make your decisions. Amen. And that's your body. Where all that uh, junk comes from. But you're not junk. You're a child. I know you ain't in a corner. Hallelujah. No weapon. Amen. 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 Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Now he said, Thou prepare a table before who? Me. me. Mm -hmm. Who is me? Me is your spirit. Spirit. Your spirit is who you are. Mm -hmm. And he prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Mm -hmm. Who is your enemy? Your mind is your enemy. Oh, Jesus. Your flesh is is your enemy. Well, thank God Almighty. Thank he prepared God. a table before me in the presence of my enemies. The table's in your spirit, glory to God. Yes, uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. He said, oh, uh, glory. He said, uh, thou anointest my head with oil. What's the anointing? That's the power of God. That's uh -huh. the ability of God. That is the role of might that God has given you. Be sure the Lord in the power of his might. might. Okay, so he, he anointed your head with oil. Well, who was the head? That's the body. It's got a head, but it's not the head. Uh -huh. That's your mind. He thinks he's the head, but he's not the head. That's your spirit. He's the head. Why is that? Because that's who God's going to deal with. He's going to oh, prepare the table before you yeah. in the presence of your enemy. He anoints your head, glory to God. Yeah. And he anointing on your head, the power on your head, the ability on your head, the mind on your head. My cup runneth over, glory to God. Your power in your head gonna run over to your mind, glory to God. Yeah. And it's gonna run from your mind over to your flesh, hallelujah. Yeah. And from your flesh into your life, glory to oh, God. Give me abundant life, the yeah. sober life, yeah. the God kind of life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Th
thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for the anointing. Thank you. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For the power, God, you guys go back to sleep. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Oh, God. glory. The anointing of spirit. Thank you. Let that anointing on your spirit run over yes, to your finger. Yes, yes. Your mind. Let the anointing on your mind run over to your actions, mm -hmm. your flesh. Hallelujah. And watch this on a matter of time. Hallelujah. For the anointing runs all into your life. And then the way you go. Nothing but the Thank blessings of God. Jesus. What happened? Now you receive the abundant life. Hallelujah. Now you receive the abundant life. Yes, yes. <laughs> People of God, once again, I pray that you receive something from this word. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 What are we talking about? Amen. We're talking about conviction, conviction that leads to eviction. Yes. So when you're convicted by the Spirit of God, and the Lord that's on you runs over to your mind, uh -huh. and then it runs over to your flesh, what happened? You evict all that mess out of your life. Yes, yes. yes. All that junk that's been trying to hold you back, evicted. Hallelujah. You're afraid uh, uh, to tie, evicted. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's the devil trying to keep you from that, from God meeting all your needs. You're afraid. You have fear. Period has to be evicted out of your life. Yes. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Well, today is Praise the day the um, we're going to go ahead and um, have communion. Yes. Yes. So let me get my. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I, can I put this in my arm? I'm coming to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you for the word, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, I need to stand for this. Oh, oh. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to the book of First Corinthians, the eleventh verse, eleventh chapter. I'm going to read here verse twenty-three. For I have received of the Lord that which is also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And sometimes we feel like we're betrayed. Sometimes we feel like life betrays us. And when he given thanks, he break the bread and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Now, just for a second, I want you to kind of close your eyes for a second. And see Jesus hanging on the cross. Mm. See the nail that was put in his wrist. Oh, the nail that was put in his ankles. Mm. See the crown of thorns on his head as blood ran down the sides of his face. And the side where he was pierced, just see that. Mm. And he said, do this in remembrance of me. Remember Jesus said, my God, why have you forsaken me? Mm. Mm. And God forsook Jesus. God turned his back on Jesus. God walked away from Jesus. Watch that. So he doesn't have to forsake us and turn his back on us and walk away from us. And after the same manner also, he took the cup. And when he served, saying, this is the cup of the New Testament of my blood. This do you also in remembrance of me. As often as you drink it. So, but we can pass up the elements now. Hallelujah. We can pass those elements now.
Lord has me this morning. As we take of this bread, remember that God turns it back on Jesus. But he'll never turn it back on us.